We are in 1975, and for almost 30 years, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has persisted in the Middle East. The June 1967 war and the continued military occupation of Palestinian territory by Israel left no room for hope of an imminent peaceful solution. Concerned about this lack of progress in the peace process, the United Nations General Assembly decided on 10 November 1975 to establish a committee on the exercise of the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people, which was intended to recommend a program of implementation to enable the Palestinian people to exercise their inalienable rights to self-determination. The committee strongly supports a just, lasting, and comprehensive settlement on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict on the basis of the two-state solution, Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace within secure and recognized pre-1967 borders with final status issues to be solely decided through negotiations. It calls for finding urgently peace agreements and condemns all Israeli policies that violate the international law and Palestinian human rights, such as self-determination, independence, sovereignty, right to return to their homes and property from which they had been displaced. What is it for exactly? The committee's purpose is to promote the rights of the Palestinian people to support the peace process and to mobilize assistance to the Palestinian people. They advocate for the realization of the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people, promote a just and peaceful settlement of the question of Palestine, monitor and report on the situation pertaining to the question of Palestine, mobilize international solidarity and support for the Palestinian people. How does it work? The committee is the only body within the United Nations exclusively devoted to the question of Palestine. Its program of work has been gradually expanded over the years in keeping with its General Assembly mandate. Shortly after the committee's creation in 1978, a supporting unit has been established in the United Nations Secretariat called the Division for Palestinian Rights. Towards the beginnings of each calendar year, the committee elects its bureau, which conducts the committee's day-to-day -day work and adopts a program of work for the year, namely their resolutions and projects for the upcoming year, for which the Division for Palestinian Rights will assist by acting as the secretariat in the implementation of this program all along the year. The committee is composed of 25 UN member states, and 24 observers, including the State of Palestine, among others. The Bureau is composed of a chair, vice chair, and a rapporteur elected each year from among the permanent representatives of committee members. In accordance with established practice, the State of Palestine participates in the work of both the committee and the Bureau as an observer. It consists of permanent representatives elected in their personal capacity by the members of the committee for a period of one year. The Bureau represents the committee at events, meetings, and debates at the United Nations and beyond. It meets annually in a retreat to determine program of work. It organizes outreach meetings with relevant member states and organizations on the question of Palestine. It meets at least once a year with the Secretary General and President of the General Assembly. The committee, assisted by the Division for Palestinian Rights, organizes international meetings and conferences. Each 29 November holds a special meeting for the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people, conducts an annual training program for Palestinian Authority staff, maintains a publication and information program, develops and maintains the United Nations Information System on the Question of Palestine, UNISPAL, the world's largest online repository of documents on the question of Palestine, cooperates and liaises with civil society organizations worldwide. All this day-to-day -day work is necessary to support the Palestinian people in the peace process and mobilize help all around the world to advocate for the protection of their inalienable rights.